New Cathedral Cemetery is a great spot to see some of the birds of Baltimore. Like this one. Here we have Ned Hanlon. He was the manager of the Orioles, the 1890 Orioles. And a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. You don't have to go too far to find Hanlon's third baseman, John McGraw. One of the greatest third basemen of, of all time. And another Hall of Famer. And just a fly ball away. It'd be a pretty long fly ball. Lies McGraw's friend and teammate, Joe Kelly. He was the Orioles' left fielder during their championship seasons. Kelly also has a spot in Cooperstown. And just down the road is our last enshrinee, Wilbert Robinson. Orioles catcher, they call him Uncle Robbie. Hanlon, McGraw, Kelly, and Robinson make New Cathedral the only cemetery in America with four baseball Hall of Famers. All four were members of an Orioles team that won three straight pennants in the 1890s. The Orioles of the 1890s were one of the best teams of all time. Author David Stinson would know. An expert on Orioles history, Stinson made New Cathedral one of the settings of his Baltimore baseball novel, Dead Ball. But why here? Why did these former O's pick this cemetery in West Baltimore? Because they're all Catholic. This was the cemetery to uh, be interred in if you were a uh, Catholic. The graves of Hanlon and his players draw baseball historians near and far, and they're reminders of the Charm City's long-standing love affair with baseball. There is an incredible baseball history in Baltimore, and a lot of it's buried, no pun intended. You know, the past is all around, you just have to know where to look. Paul Mancano, MassInSports.com.